I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith born not of words, but of deeds. Achievements won by present and past generations of agriculturalists. And the promise of better days through better ways. Even as the better things we now enjoy have come to us from the struggles of former years. E.M. Tiffany wrote these words over 90 years ago, but what he wrote then still stands true now, especially in, those fir in that first paragraph. The gap between producers and consumers is continuing to grow. This lack of understanding is threatening the future of agriculture. Hi, I'm Alicia Boone. I'm Luke Jennings. I'm Emily Hardaway. And I'm Audrey Pinger. And we're the Public Relations and Communications team from the Felicity Franklin FFA chapter. Our chapter tasked us with sharing our local FFA story by highlighting one of our FFA advisors, Mrs. Holly Jennings. We are presenting to you our media plan on how we plan to share our FFA story. Recently, our chapter faced a membership decline of 18 members, the biggest decline we have ever had. We fear that we will continue to decrease in our membership. If we continue to lose members, then we will have nobody to tell our story to. And if we have nobody to tell our story to, there's no way to grow the next generation of agriculturalists, greatly impacting the agriculture industry on a global and local scale. Additionally, we found that 72% of consumers don't know much about where their food comes from or much about agriculture at all. This statistic was very alarming for our membership. It made them fear for the future of the agricultural industry and about what the public perception is of the agricultural industry. It is important for them to grow the future of agriculture because they need to feed the growing population, which is expected to reach 10 billion people by the year 2050. Our team identified three target audiences to complete our goals. Alicia, would you like to talk about the first one? Yes. Our first group is our 740 students and their parents. These students will be recruited to be future FFA members. These FFA members will have hands-on in planning our activities, including Down on the Farm Day. Down on the Farm Day is one of our main events where we promote the future of agriculture. The demographic of this group is 99% white and 1% Native American. Our second target audience are the 5,430 um, individuals who live within the Felicity Franklin Local School District school limits. We suspect that this group has the least understanding of what the FFA is and the goals of the organization. The demographic of this area are not over 97% white, less than 1% Native American, and 2% other. Our third target audience is the 116 staff members at the Felicity Franklin Local School District. They have about one hour of interaction daily with students but they do not know exactly what FFA is. They support them in their endeavors throughout by getting them out of class and through their FFA competitions, but they don't truly know the meaning of it. This demographic is 99% white and 1% other. Our team developed the slogan, Today's Youth, Tomorrow's Leaders, which we will use on all of our promotional items in our media plan. Likewise, we created three key messages which we wanna share with the community. The first key message is strengthening agriculture. Everybody relies on agriculture, but joining FFA helps you find your role in agriculture. How were you able to find your role in the agriculture industry, Emily? I was able to find my role in the agriculture industry because my FFA advisor wanted me to take my love for agriculture and my love for animals and pursue a job at a veterinary clinic. Our second key message is FFA grows leaders. FFA focuses on developing students' potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. No matter what endeavor you choose to pursue in the FFA, you will be able to, to gain valuable life skills and become a better person, whether this is competing in a career development event, pursuing a chapter leadership position, or any other activity. The third key message is building communities. Community service is a huge part of FFA through all of the activities that they do throughout the year. If we if you join FFA, then you'll be able to have a better community service project so that you can build your community, and you'll have a better understanding of the importance of civic engagement. Our team also developed three objectives to determine the success of our media plan. Audrey, would you like to explain the first objective? I would love to. Our first objective was to increase our total membership by 10% by August 31st, 2021. In 2019 and 2020, we added about 10% more members than we do now, and that was when we started to see a decline, so we'd like to be able to bring those members back. Our second objective was to increase 11th and 12th grade membership by 15% by August 31st, 2021. Juniors and seniors at our school have the opportunity to go to a career center or attend a College Credit Plus program. This causes many members to not be involved in FFA and miss out on our activities and cause the decline in our membership. 
Our final objective was to collaborate with 15 staff members from the Felicity Franklin Local School District by August 31st, 2021. Our staff is always so supportive of our FFA members, but they don't really understand why they are allowing our members to leave their class and go do stuff in the FFA. If we were able to collaborate them, they would better understand what FFA is and how important it is to our members. The public relations and communications team will use a variety of media types to convey the FFA's missions and goals, as well as the importance of agricultural advocacy to students, staff, and community members. The media plan slogan is today's youth and tomorrow's leaders. Come on, let's check it out. The heart and soul of our team's media plan is a promotional website. This website will feature pictures of Mrs. Jennings, her story, a questionnaire completed by her, as well as events and highlights of the Felicity Franklin FFA. All other promotional items are aimed at grabbing the attention of community members, then redirecting them to this website for more information. We will have 4,800 disposable water bottles with a picture of our advisor Holly Jennings' photo on it, as well as our slogan and a QR code to the website. These will be available to all of the students in the high school if they are in need of them to promote healthy lifestyles. There will be five life-size carpet cutouts with Mrs. Jennings and an FFA member. Instead of the FFA member having a face, it will be a hole where members can take pictures where they can vision themselves in FFA. This life-size carpet cutout will have our slogan and a QR code where our members can visit the website. There will be two in the high school gym lobby, two in the middle school gym lobby, and one in the public library. The public relations and communications team will order 11,000 custom bookmarks featuring Holly Jennings' face, the plan slogan, and a QR code linking to our website. We will then evenly distribute 11,000 bookmarks to each of the 10 Claremont County Public Libraries and the Felicity Franklin Local School Library. We hope to promote literacy among the young generation and encourage them to join FFA so maybe one day they will be FFA members themselves. Every day, dozens of cars line up outside the Felicity Franklin Elementary School waiting to pick their kids up. This is the perfect opportunity for our, the public relations and communications team to advertise to these cars. The team will purchase four yard signs which will go in the ground, as well as four posters which will hang outside the school, which will feature Mrs. Jennings' picture, the promotional slogan, and a QR code. The individuals in the cars will have the opportunity to scan the QR code and explore our promotional website to learn more about the Felicity Franklin FFA and Mrs. Jennings' story. We will make newspaper publications with Cincinnati Enquirer, Claremont Sun, the Cardinals Connection newspaper, which is our school newspaper, and other platforms to post articles about FFA agriculture, and it will give a direct link to our website for other key components. We will utilize our Instagram and Facebook, which includes having 653 Instagram followers and 1,081 Facebook followers to post promotional videos and posts about the FFA. We will also create a promotional video about Mrs. Jennings to post on our social medias and our website. In January, we will present a plan and get it approved. We will also host a photo shoot for Holly Jennings and for members for our cardboard cutouts. We will also design and publish our website for people to go and get all of the articles. Then in February, we will create and order the water bottles and cardboard cutouts and then place the cardboard cutouts in their locations. Then in through February and March, we will distribute water bottles throughout the school. And then in March, we will publish at least five articles to the newspapers and social media, and then design and order our bookmarks. In April, we will distribute bookmarks and plan and schedule a promotional video. In May, we will film and edit this promotional video, as well as publicize our annual banquet via articles. Then in June, we will publish our member success. And then in July, we'll update the promotional video on our website. And then in August, we'll determine if our object objectives were successful. We were given $5,000 to complete this media plan. Fortunately, we were able to budget under that amount. The first thing we needed to create was a pro promotional website. We would spend $0 on this, totaling $0. We plan on purchasing 4,800 water disposable water bottles at $0.21 cents each, totaling $1,008 for this promotional item. To get five cardboard cutouts at $60 a piece, we would spend $300. 
The public relations and communication team's plans on purchasing 11,000 bookmarks at six cents each, so we would spend $660 on this item. The team also plans to purchase four lines, lawn signs, at $10 a piece, totaling $40. We plan on purchasing four posters to use at $15 each, so we would spend $60 on this expense. To utilize three newspaper articles, we would have to spend $0 and total $0. Social media is free and we plan on utilizing at least two posts of this, so it would cost us zero dollars for this promotion. To make a promotional video, we would have to spend zero dollars. In total, we plan on budgeting $2,068, which is $2,932 below our allotted amount. We would like to thank you for viewing our media plan. We hope you agree that FFA is today's youth and tomorrow's leaders. Our media plan was designed to increase the membership of the Felicity Franklin FFA chapter, create a more agriculturally educated community in Felicity, and develop a positive relationship between the Felicity Franklin FFA and the local and surrounding communities. We identified three different target audiences and the students and parents in the Felicity Franklin local school district, the community members of the school district, and our staff members. We created three different key messages the FFA strengthens agriculture, the FFA grows leaders, and the FFA builds communities. We had three objectives. Our first one was to increase our total membership by 10% using bookmarks, water bottles, cutouts, yard signs, and posters. The second was to increase our junior and senior membership by 15% using our promotional website. And the last was to collaborate with 15 staff members on our website and the newspaper articles. We hope you will consider our media plan to grow the next generation of agriculturists. And remember, Today's youth, tomorrow's leaders.